hey, so we're going to create our own stack so that we can deploy to our own infrastructure or you have like different prettier settings or whatever the case may be, you have a different CI, you're using Jenkins or something and you wanna have all that configuration ready for your engineers at your company to uh, ship really fast. So we're going to base ours off of the indie stack but you could create your own from totally from scratch, whatever you wanna do. Um, we're gonna just base ours off the indie stack. So what we're gonna do is we, we like most of the indie stack, we just wanna change a little bit of it and we're going to fork this over to your own organization or create your own uh, repo as part of your own user uh, we'll probably want to rename this so we're going to be like the kent stack or whatever you want it to be we, we probably want to use some music genre so uh, i don't know let's do the death metal stack or something i'm going to delete this so feel free to use that one if you want to um, so we've got our death metal stack and so now we're going to uh, clone this. So let's grab this and we'll come over here and say git clone the death metal stack. We'll cd into the death metal stack and open up our code editor right here. And then we just customize anything that we want to. And so we can come in to the remix init and we can um, bring in inquirer or something like this if we wanted to um, ask additional questions like, hey, do you want to deploy this to production or is this just a staging thing or whatever you could uh, do, anything that you want to in here. Uh, if you're not deploying to fly, then maybe delete the fly toml, whatever you want. We're gonna keep this simple for this demo and so I'm just gonna go into our package JSON. We're gonna go to prettier and we've got our pretty settings here. We'll say semi false. So we don't want semicolons and we'll grab the npm install script here. So we're just gonna run npm install. Uh, I have ni alias to npm install. So we're gonna install dependencies so that I can run this format script right here. Let's get rid of that. npm run format uh, so that I can get rid of all the semicolons. We don't like semicolons, get rid of those. So now we'll commit in it or um, ditch semicolons and now we'll push this up we'll come over here to the death metal stack right here and actually uh, because we happened to fork the indie stack this does have an action uh, all set up for it and so that should be running here in any second and so in this case if you're forking this and you want to keep it on fly you're just like changing a small thing then you probably will want to do a finer replace of the indie stack template uh, to, to name your app something else because it, um, that's that part is not going to work uh, but I foresee that most of you who are building your own custom stacks are going to change a lot about the uh, infrastructure that you're deploying to and everything and you have complete control over that you just you fork it you start it from scratch you make any changes that you want you have your remix in it to ask further questions after the initialization process and uh, and then people can create uh, their own projects based on your stack. So the way that that looks is we'll probably actually want to go to our readme here and change from the uh, this template instructions. We'll probably change the entire readme, uh, but the template instructions at least are going to say Kent C. Dodds death metal stack. And now people can go into their terminal and we'll go to the desktop and npx create remix with the, well, actually I just copied it. Yeah, npx create remix template, can't see Dodd's death metal stack. Death metal. <laughs> and yeah, we'll run npm install. So I am now installing the stack that I just created uh, by forking the indie stack and making the changes that I wanted, which was just to, to change prettier. And it's gonna run through the whole setup script that's part of the remix init script for the indie stack, which I forked. And uh, that runs all the tests and everything. So you can uh, take the base that we created for you and just enhance it or change it however you like and people can uh, build your own uh, their own uh, apps based on your stack instead of the built-in one. You could add authentication with a different authentication provider. You could add in a CMS. You could uh, integrate with your custom service for monitoring or whatever it is. And, um, and then anybody who wants to create a project based on your stack can do it in uh, just a single command, which I think is pretty rad. So I'm really looking forward to the cool stacks that you build. I'm looking forward to hearing the music genres that you choose for the name of your stack. And I hope you love Remix Stacks. See ya.